Scene script. Have you ever wondered what creatures roamed the earth before dinosaurs? It's a thought that's sure to have crossed many minds. Let's travel back, way back, to the very dawn of life on our planet. Imagine a world where the land is barren and the oceans are teeming with a soup of single-celled organisms. Life, as we know it today, had yet to take form. This was Earth, some four billion years ago. Over time, these simple single-celled organisms began to evolve, becoming more complex, leading to the first multicellular organisms. Imagine life forms so simple that they had no brains, no hearts, no muscles, yet they were alive. These were the sponges, the very first animals on Earth. Following the sponges were the jellyfish, free-floating and pulsating, adding a dash of movement to these ancient waters. Now, let's fast forward to a time known as the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid evolutionary development that took place about 540 million years ago. This was a time when life forms diversified at an unprecedented rate. It was during the Cambrian explosion that most of the major groups of animals first appeared in the fossil record. Imagine the oceans filled with a variety of life forms, some with shells, others with legs, and some even developing the ability to see. From simple single cells to complex creatures, life was booming evolving and diversifying. But the evolution of life did not stop there. Over millions of years, life forms continued to adapt, evolve and grow more complex. And as they did, they began to venture out from the depths of the ocean to the barren lands above. As life continued to evolve and adapt to new environments, a variety of fascinating creatures emerged. Welcome to a time when the Earth was ruled not by dinosaurs, but by invertebrates. This is a journey back to the Paleozoic era, a period brimming with a variety of invertebrates that dominated the seas. Picture the trilobites with their hard exoskeletons and multiple legs scuttling along the ocean floor. Imagine nautilus-like creatures gracefully traversing the depths with their tentacles extended, seeking their next meal. But this era was not just about invertebrates. It also heralded the arrival of the first fish, a significant milestone in the history of life. These early fish were jawless, resembling eels, and they swam in the vast oceans teeming with invertebrates. However, evolution didn't stop there. The Paleozoic era witnessed the emergence of jawed fish, a development that marked a major turning point, setting the stage for the evolution of a vast array of marine creatures. But life was about to take a leap from the water onto land. Imagine a world where the first land-dwelling creatures are beginning to appear. This was a time of immense change and evolution. A time when life was making its first tentative steps from the water onto land. The first organisms to make this daring leap were plants. These early pioneers known as bryophytes, which include mosses and liverworts, didn't have roots or vascular tissues as we recognize them today. Their simple structures allowed them to absorb water and nutrients directly from their environment. Over time, these plants evolved into more complex forms, developing roots, leaves and vascular systems, which allowed them to grow taller and colonize a wider range of environments. Following the plants, the first creatures to take up residence on land were the arthropods, a group that includes insects, spiders, and crustaceans. These invertebrates had the advantage of an exoskeleton, providing them with protection against the harsh conditions of dry land. They quickly diversified and filled a variety of ecological niches, becoming some of the most successful organisms on Earth. But the journey from water to land wasn't only undertaken by plants and invertebrates. The first land-dwelling vertebrates also emerged during this period. These were the amphibians, creatures that straddled the line between aquatic and terrestrial life. They laid their eggs in water, but as adults, they could venture onto land, equipped with lungs to breathe air. Over millions of years, some of these amphibians evolved into the first reptiles, a group of animals that would come to dominate the land. 
reptiles made a critical evolutionary leap. They developed hard-shelled eggs that could be laid on land, freeing them from the need to return to water for reproduction. This adaptation opened up vast new territories for them to colonize. From the first mosses to the rise of reptiles, this was a time of remarkable evolutionary innovation. Each step in this journey laid the foundation for the next, creating a web of life that was becoming increasingly complex and interconnected. The stage was now set for a new era of life on Earth. The Earth was evolving fast, and so were its inhabitants. As the planet spun tirelessly on its axis, the life throbbing on its surface was plunging headlong into a new era, the Permian period. This period, spanning between 299 to 252 million years ago, was a time of remarkable transition. A time when the Earth was teeming with an array of creatures, the most notable of which were the synapsids. The synapsids, often referred to as the mammal-like reptiles, were the forerunners of today's mammals. These creatures were a compelling blend of reptilian and mammalian traits, an embodiment of the Earth's relentless push towards evolution. Their existence marked a significant step in the evolutionary ladder, a step that would eventually lead to the rise of the dinosaurs. However, the Permian period did not end on a cheerful note. It concluded with the most catastrophic mass extinction event in Earth's history wiping out nearly 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial life. This devastating event, known as the Permian-Triassic extinction, reshaped life on Earth, creating a void that would soon be filled by a new breed of creatures. The Triassic period, which followed the Permian, was the dawn of a new era, the age of dinosaurs. This was a time of rapid evolution and diversification, a time when the first dinosaurs began to roam the Earth. These early dinosaurs were small, bipedal creatures, a far cry from the colossal beasts we often associate with the term dinosaur. Yet, they were the pioneers, the trailblazers that would pave the way for the rise of the mighty dinosaurs. These dinosaurs, which would come to dominate the Earth for over 160 million years, were the successors of the synapsids and the other myriad creatures that had inhabited the Earth during the Permian period. They were the products of millions of years of evolution, shaped by the trials and tribulations of their predecessors. And so, the age of dinosaurs began, built on the foundation of countless life forms that came before. Our journey through time reveals a world before dinosaurs, teeming with life and evolutionary milestones. We've traversed the dawn of life, witnessed the age when invertebrates ruled, observed the debut of land dwellers, and met the precursors to dinosaurs. Each era, a testament to the relentless march of evolution, a dance of life and death spanning millions of years. The next time you marvel at the dinosaurs, remember the incredible journey of life that led to their reign.